I have DACA. I've had it since 2014. Mm-hmm. Also in 2014, I was charged with an assault offense as a felony third degree. Now, two years later, in 2016, my case was dismissed okay. uh, by, with a deferred adjudication. Now, my question is, so I've been married with a U.S. citizen for two and a half years now, and I'm trying to adjust my status. I was trying to do advanced parole. And my question is, would I have any problems with my prior charge? You may, because there's two different types of deferred adjudications. There's a deferred adjudication where you do not admit guilt, where they tell you to go take a class or pay a fine, stay out of trouble for six, nine months, and they'll dismiss the case. And in those type of situations where there's no admission of guilt, no finding of guilt by a judge, that's not a conviction. Yes, you'll be able to travel. There's other deferred adjudications where a judge says, okay, I'm going to find you guilty, or I'm going to make you say you're guilty. I'm going to tell you to go take a class on anger management. I'm making this up. I don't know. And when you're done with the anger management class, you come back to me and I'm going to dismiss the charges against you. And although you don't have a criminal record for life, you can say, no, I don't. But for immigration, that's a crime because you pled guilty, you were sentenced, and that's all that's required for a criminal conviction for immigration, even though the judge later on dismissed the charges. Okay, so I did take a class. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would have to look at your disposition to tell you 100% certain which way it is. What will be on the disposition will be the section of law you were found guilty of, and then I could look up the law in your particular state and then tell you which type of deferred adjudication it is. Okay. All right. So hold on one second if you need help. 